But we're also taught that at any time, anyone in any way uh, inflicts or seeks to inflict violence upon us, we are within our religious rights to retaliate in self-defense to the maximum degree of our ability. We never initiate any violence upon anyone. But if anyone attacks us, we reserve the right to defend ourselves. So to accuse us of, of being violent is like accusing a man who is being lynched, who is being hung on a tree, uh, simply because he struggles vigorously against his lyncher. The victim is accused of violence, but the lyncher is never accused of violence. And I only point this out because the various racist groups that are set up in this country by whites and who have actually practiced violence against blacks for 400 years are never associated or identified or made synonymous with the term violence. But whites speak of Muslims almost synonymously with violence. Whenever Muslims are mentioned by them, violence is brought up. But, not, but it's not connected with any other group. This is a sort of a propaganda tactic or what I would call psychological warfare to uh, in some way make uh, the image of the Muslims in this country be a violent image rather than a religious image.